Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom, and you're watching Talk with Taj. Uh, we have a general civil litigation practice, and we also do a lot of family law because there's a lot of people in need, whether they're fighting over custody of their kids uh, or, you know, whatever it is, domestic violence, uh, we want to help them. And we do a lot of business litigation, and at our core, we're a civil rights firm, so we do a lot of police excessive force cases, employment discrimination. Uh, usually we represent uh, the little guy against the big company or the government, and we do very well. I've also written three books, uh, which I framed the book covers, so here's those. You know, I do a lot of speaking, I do a lot of television, and um, I'm going to be posting a video on YouTube uh, with all my feelings about the Ferguson injustice with uh, pictures of documents and photos to show why I think that case was such a grave injustice. So I know everybody's not a reader, but at least we could watch a video, right? Yeah. And um, this is where I sit and work and fight for my clients when I'm not in court. What's the biggest um, issue that you're facing right now? Like, what's the biggest thing everybody's fighting over? Well, we do a lot of excessive force cases of, you know, police beatings, sheriff's department beatings, even killings, uh, generally unarmed people. In those cases, are heartbreaking, and I think there's really some systemic problems that we can change. We need to train police in diversity. Uh, we need to have uh, training in non-lethal force. You know, we don't have to always answer every problem with a bullet. Um, and you know, that's one of the biggest ones in my heart. That's one of the biggest issues in America today. Uh, and we do a lot of discrimination cases. I do. I have a big domestic violence case against a very prominent attorney who assaulted his wife for over five years, threw her down the stairs, spit on her, threatened to kill her. I mean. So unfortunately, there's a lot of violence out there. There's a lot of discrimination. There's a lot of abuse, and you know I think it's our job to stand up, stand up to it, and say it's not okay, and to fight for our clients. And that's what we do. Uh, we know since um, the Ferguson uh, case, there have been um, a lot more police shootings that have surfaced across the country. Mm -hmm. um, people taking, we know via their camera phones. Mm -hmm. um, how is this, Michael? Why Michael Brown's case? Like, there's been a lot of other cases where um, unarmed men were shot and killed, but why? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very, very special edition of Talk With Taj on TWT TV. We're sitting with Lisa Bloom, and you know we've interviewed Lisa before, but we came out to L.A. to see her face to face. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for coming out to L.A. I'm going to talk you into moving here. You know what? You've, you've tried. You t you've told me before. And, um, <laughs> you know, we was just... a place to be, Taj. Yeah, I know. We know palm you trees, warm weather. The warm weather. You yeah. notice how you're wearing short sleeves? Yes, yes. You notice how you're not freezing? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 30 below and we're back where I'm at. <laughs> Best to stay here until spring. <laughs> <laughs> um, we wanted... I just actually, you know, we was walking through the office and we were talking about... Um, the most high-profile cases that you guys fight, and, mm -hmm. um, and you were telling me about there's a situation with um, an individual who you got to fight against, and I asked you about why Michael Brown, why is this case the case that seems like it changed everything? You know, we had Trayvon Martin, we've had other cases, mm -hmm. but why does, even Eric Gardner in New York, that one didn't change the way things did in Ferguson, so why the Michael Brown case, why was that the one thing that just altered everything. So that's an important question that a lot of people have asked and I think we all owe a tremendous debt to the protesters in Ferguson because from the very day that Mike Brown was shot and his body lay in the street for over four hours bleeding out the people took to the streets and they said no more this is not acceptable and it was very hot in August and they were protesting all night and all day for days and weeks afterwards. They protested into the fall when it was cold and rainy. They protested into the winter when they were freezing. The protesters did not give up. And as they were protesting excessive force, they were met with excessive force. And the world's cameras were there at that point and saw you know, young, unarmed people and the police pointing military-grade weapons at them, even though you're never to point a loaded weapon at somebody unless you intend to shoot them. 
You should never point a loaded weapon at a peaceful protester. So I think the reaction to the Ferguson protests proved the point. It was 99% peaceful, those protests. And you know, I've met with some of those protesters. I have tremendous respect for them. They are the reason that this case caught fire, because you're right, there are unfortunately so many cases like this. There are probably over a 1,000 cases of unarmed civilians being shot and killed by police every year in the United States. We don't keep accurate statistics, so we don't know for sure, but that's what most experts say. And they all should cause outrage. Yes. But at least this one did.